Well, this was an issue they were willing to get arrested for, and in fact, many of them did. Many child care advocates ended up in cuffs for protesting inside the state legislature, and they do not want those child care centers shut down. Today, they're getting a bit of a lifeline, if you will, at least a temporary one. State lawmakers voted today to provide more money to help keep mm -hmm. them open. It comes just days before federal funding runs out. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, the challenges these centers are facing aren't going away. Right. This is essentially meant to buy more time. That group you were talking about who got arrested here yesterday, they were saying that state leaders need to do more to ensure that more of these child care centers don't shut down. For some of us here, we can't in good conscience leave this building. With a crisis in child care looming and protesters even getting arrested inside the legislature this week, state lawmakers took a key vote Thursday. They approved about $67 million in emergency funding aimed at preventing a disaster in the child care industry. House Speaker Tim Moore says it's enough to get them through the end of this year as Republicans continue their negotiations on the budget. My understanding of that is that what we are proposing should take care of the backlog. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the federal government provided funding to help child care centers pay their workers more and to try to keep them running. This is a stopgap on child care funding, but you know we have a child care crisis. We have a, an affordability crisis for working people in this country. How do they pay all their bills? And what we're trying to do here is keep one of those costs, the cost of child care down, but this only does it for a few months. Emma Biggs runs Pathway Preschool Center in Charlotte and got arrested on Wednesday. She criticized lawmakers for proposing hundreds of millions of dollars for the state school voucher program while child care centers are struggling. That money continues to pad their pockets yep. right. and leaving child care programs and educators in shambles. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And, and the, the, we're better off if we're not all screaming at each other. The General Assembly just voted to adjourn a few minutes ago. They plan to come back in November for votes after the election, but it's unclear if they'll be back in town to vote on anything any sooner than that. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.